Hey guys, what's going on? This is Gabe with the Dungeon Studio, and today I'm going to be reviewing the Peterson Strobo Stop HD. It's their latest pedal tuner. It's really, really cool, and I finally got my hands on one. So we're going to unbox it, see what's inside, plug it in, and uh, get ready to see what this thing's all about. All right. So today <clears throat> I have my trusty Leatherman OHT with a nice sharp knife and I'm just gonna give it an open real quick if you don't have a Leatherman or a multi-tool you are missing out you should really have one <clears throat> just to rip that stuff off cool that's not a fun sound now we're gonna get to the nitty gritty we're gonna open the box and see what's inside All right. <clears throat> oh, it's nice. Comes all nice and packaged. All right. Ooh, that click is nice. It's not exactly, I mean, it's a soft click, but you still feel the activation. So how do I get this out of here? Is there stuff underneath? Uh, let's just take the whole thing out. All right, so there's nothing underneath there. And there is a tuner pedal. All right, cool. All right, serial number on the back. Now, this is something that a lot of people I know have been complaining about, is the rubber pad. That they're saying that they can't get their stuff on the Velcro, or the Velcro won't stick because of the rubber pad. This probably can come off. I wouldn't recommend it, but uh, yeah, you could probably take this off. Let's see if there's a battery inside. Oh, fresh battery. There we go. All right. Looks simple enough. All right, it has a USB. Is that USB-C or USB micro? I don't know, can you guys tell? Is that USB-C, USB micro? I can't tell. There you go, the camera won't focus. Ah, it's too out of there we go. So there is an in and out for pedal power. Uh pretty much similar to like all the other big needle tuners. You can kinda send this out to send your electricity out to other pedals, probably pedal power like maybe three or four more pedals or something. And uh yeah, so let's gonna let's get let's fire this bad boy up and see what we got going on around these parts over here. I'm going to grab my trusty guitar and I'm going to find my beat up Ibanez to tune. So let's see what that looks like. All right, so I got my guitar set up and I'm going to try. I'm going to put this tuner on. It's a nice bright display. And I'm just going to tune my guitar. I'm going to tune it to E. Let's give it a try. Wow, I like that. It's not jumping around. There you go, some... That's pretty close. I haven't tuned this guitar in forever, so I might have some tuning issues. Just a hair sharp. Oh wow, I like that. Picks up the guitar instantaneously. I'm gonna adjust my mic, sorry guys. Picks up. Mm 
Ooh, that's that's sour. It's too too sharp. Oh man. Look at that, I even made a mistake and plucked the wrong string. Whoops. Sorry. Wow. Just a hair sharp. That is super smooth. That is really, really smooth. I haven't... I haven't seen a tuner that smooth in a while. Wet flat, whoops. And this is an old guitar too, so I'm just like playing around. Wow, that's awesome. Well, it does guitar without a problem. We're gonna try and play around with the bass. All right, so I got the trusty bass on and I'm gonna actually scroll down here to the sweetener preset. Whoops. So sweetener, I'm gonna go down a bit until I hit bass, B-A-S. Baritone, there you go, bass. Now I'm gonna Cool, now I'm in bass mode. Now I'm gonna tune the bass and see how this is like. So this is a standard bass tune to E, A, D, G. It's a little sharp. Cool, that's pretty, that's pretty steady. Nice, wow. That's holding tight, that's nice. Hold on, I'm just gonna adjust my mic, and here we go. Ooh. Whoops. Still going a little flat because this bass hasn't been tuned in forever. Wow. So this bass can't really hold tune that well, but this Peterson is doing a good job of telling me that. Oh, that's pretty cool. All right, so it does the bass very well too. Uh, now we're gonna try something different. I'm gonna try an alternate tuning. I'm gonna tune while I'm down in C standard. And uh, that's one of my favorite tunings to write heavy music in, especially metal. Um, so I'm gonna see what that's like. So let's throw the ESP, or the LTD rather. Let's throw the LTD at the Peterson and see how well it does low tunings and how well, how well it handles those tunings. So 
So the signal dies out, but that's okay. Let's see. The strings might be a little worn. So my guitar probably needs an intonation. The goal is to get it to wiggle as little as possible. There you go, there, just roughly there, a little sharp. All right. Cool, that's holding nicely. Oh, there we go. This is my B, my G string. There we go. There we go. Wow. Wow, this tuner is extremely nice to use. Super nice to use. All right. Looks like it handles alternate tunings. Looks like it handles bass very well. And uh, looks like there's a ton of presets in there. And... Uh, what I'm going to do is just going to go through some of these presets with you guys and show you all what exactly this little box has to offer some of the features. It's pretty cool. So if we look here, this is our, our menu button on this side and you could choose change your sweetener and you can go up to change some settings, uh, change the paint job. I like purple. We'll move it to purple. And then uh, you move down. You can change your capo, capo, whatever. Change your concert A pitch. You can do notes. That's cool. Back to the paint job. Let's see what's in settings. Oh. That's cool. I guess it goes back. I don't know what that is. Oh, these look like presets. Oh, okay. All right, cool. Oh, wow, there's a battery indicator on this thing. That's awesome. Oh, wait, I want the battery indicator back on. Come on, come on. Oh, it disappeared. No, we could change colors. Look at all these colors that there are available to you. And uh, yeah, so there's a menu up, down, plus, minus on this side. And if we take a look at the back, this is the battery compartment here. And this is where you can choose to put your tuner pedal in true bypass, buffer bypass. It's a little tiny switch right here. You probably can't see it, but it's right there. And uh, monitor mode. Oh, monitor mode. I guess that means it doesn't turn off your tuner. Kind of like an auxiliary thing. This is awesome. Well, this is a pretty handy little pedal. I really like it. And uh, I think it's definitely worth the money. It's hefty. It's strong. The switch is nice and... Wow, there we go. It's a hard throw. You hear the hard throw. Listen. It's a throw, a manual throw switch in there. That's cool. That's cool. Hey, guys, thank you for tuning in to my Peterson Strobel Stop HD review and unboxing. And I hope to have some more videos for you guys soon. Thanks.